For auscultation of the heart, you may choose between two sequences. In the first, start with the diaphragm of the stethoscope and progress from the right second interspace to the left second interspace and down the left sternal border to the apex. Then, with the bell of the stethoscope, listen again at the mitral and tricuspid areas. Starting in the right second interspace helps orient you to the cardiac cycle. In the second sequence, start with the bell and listen first at the mitral and tricuspid areas. Then change to the diaphragm and starting in the aortic area, listen to all five areas from above down. Starting at the mitral area is useful when you've had to turn the patient to find the apical impulse. The first auscultation sequence is shown in this video. What I'm going to do now is listen to your heart in the various areas of your chest. Now adjust your stethoscope so that you'll be listening through the diaphragm. When pressed firmly on the chest, the diaphragm is best for hearing relatively high-pitched sounds, such as S1, S2, the murmurs of aortic and mitral regurgitation, and pericardial friction rubs. Begin listening at the right second interspace close to the sternum. Note the cardiac rate and rhythm. Identify the first and second heart sounds and listen for extra heart sounds and murmurs. Please breathe deeper than normal. Then listen at the left second interspace. Try to hear splitting of S2. Here it is abnormally wide. It comes and goes with respiration. Continue to breathe deep. Proceed along the left sternal border to the third interspace. Again, listen for splitting of S2. Continue to the fourth interspace. and then to the fifth interspace. Finally, listen at the apex. Now switch to the bell of the stethoscope, which is more sensitive to low-pitched sounds, such as S3, S4, and the murmur of mitral stenosis. Listen at the apex again. in the fifth interspace, and in the fourth interspace.